Hey y'all, thank you for coming by Jenny Lara and joining me for my Christmas candle DIY video. I've been looking forward to doing this one for you. It's really budget friendly and most of these supplies I got from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about the supplies and then we'll get into how to make the DIY. Okay, we'll start on the left side. Right here I just have a candle lighter or just some matches is all you'll need for that. I have some candles and obviously you can get candles anywhere, everywhere from Walmart to Hobby Lobby. I actually picked these up at Dollar Tree. These are the fall candles, but I noticed they were in like Christmas colors. And I figured, you know, it doesn't really matter for being in there. I don't think it will really show up, but I figured I'd get a green one for the green jar and two red ones for the red jar, just in case to make sure it blends together really well. I will be removing these little leaves, but I also will be saving them. I think they're really cute and they come with this little twine bow and I'm sure for a DIY in the future I will reuse them. The next thing I got was this ribbon. I really loved it. It's the truck ribbon from the Dollar Tree. We all love the red truck. It says Merry Christmas all over it. Again, this really beautiful ribbon, but if you can't find this ribbon, don't panic or anything. They have ribbon everywhere. I have some glue sticks right here. I got these from the Dollar Tree a while back. You get 20 pieces, and this is from like the Crafters Square collection. The jars are awesome. These are so big, and I was so happy to find these. I found these at the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. I got two red ones and one green one. I kind of wish they had had another green one, but literally I got all that they had. They do come in blue and clear, and I believe I saw black too. They may come in other colors, but I was really just like looking for the Christmas colors so I was happy they had enough for what I needed. I have my glue gun down here on the floor heating up so that I can use it to attach the ribbon. The things that I did not get from the Dollar Tree were these little images right here. I do think that these would be considered like little ornaments but they have little clips on them as well and I saw these actually at Goodwill, the Goodwill Boutique. If you're not familiar with the Goodwill Boutique it's like the nicer Goodwill store. <laughs> it's where they like send the more higher quality items to. Anyway this one says the most wonderful time of the year and I paid a dollar forty nine for this. This reminds me of something you can get at Target or Walmart. I would just look in like the ornament section because honestly y'all, um, even if you don't have this little clip right here and you just want to like hot glue an ornament or like this little piece of garland, I saw a lot of this at Walmart that you can stick in your tree. You could also use that for these. So there's definitely a lot of options that you could do with your candles. Um, this one says Merry Christmas. It's red and striped. Again, I paid $1.49, which I didn't think was a bad price for what this is and because it comes with decoration and it's sparkly. The next one I picked up says Merry and Bright. Again, it still has the clip. These are new in package, $1.49. So for all of these, I paid around um, $4.50. I'm not sure if you can hear it y'all, but it is raining outside. It has been raining for quite a while, and I've learned here in Fort Mill, South Carolina, it rains a good bit. Like, it really does, and I never really thought the rain affected me that much, but the older I get and the more I become, I think, more observant just to my body and my emotions, I realize that I really, really miss it being sunny outside. I really do. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, so I'm not like super far from home or anything. Thing, but the weather is different here and it definitely takes a toll on me. Um, there's also no beach so there's not tons of people like out getting sun you know what I mean and um you know so that's just left, let me know the next place we move I really want it to be a lot more sunny. Okay I'm gonna put this to music I hope you enjoy watching me make my candles let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, here are our little Christmas jars. I really love how they turned out. I think adding the little ornament on the front of them just made them what they are. I just think that they are so Christmassy and adorable. I also really love the ribbon around it. I can't believe this ribbon came from the Dollar Tree. Like, I really can't because ribbon, y'all, is expensive. Expensive. It really is. And again, remember, if you can't find these little things right here, definitely check your local Walmart or Hobby Lobby for a cute little ornament or something to stick there. Now, my plan had been to just put these ornaments with the little clipper on the back on and hook it onto the ribbon. However, I realized very quickly that was not going to work because this ribbon will slide up and down, and I ended up putting a little hot glue underneath the ribbon so it would not slide around. What I ended up doing is hot gluing this ornament directly to the jar. I just put a strip of hot glue on the back of this at the top and just pushed it and held it down for a little while. Now I took that clip off because it was going sideways as opposed to up and down and it made it look really bulky and I realized it was not going to look right if I left that clip there. So if yours happens to have a clip on there, all I did was use my scissors and I just kind of pried it off and it didn't take that much strength before it popped off. So they definitely can come off. Off, it just takes a little elbow grease to get them off. All right, let's light these up and see how they look. Those are so pretty. I'm going to turn the lights out and see how they look. Oh my goodness, y'all, these are so adorable, and they make the home feel so cozy, especially with it being so rainy outside. I'm looking forward to putting these in the living room. I'll show you how they look when I put them on the table in there. I think those look perfect in this basket. I got this basket from Goodwill and I did not even plan on using it today. As you can see, my couch is back there. My cat is on the couch as always. And this is just the table in front of the couch. But I just think that really adds. I did put a little bit of vintage lace down in the basket. All right, y'all, we're gonna end here. Thank you so much for coming by Jenny Lara to watch this candle Christmas video with me. I always love having you here. I enjoy seeing your comments and your support it means so much. I hope you have a really warm and cozy night wherever you are and that you enjoyed watching this DIY. Have a good night y'all. Bye. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tease the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la.